So you've had some some pretty big challenges. I think that the, somebody in leadership, having gone through what you guys just went through in August of last year with the Lahaina fires, it's a, a test on so many levels. What's the leadership instincts that start to kick in of like, okay, how do we support these people that are work family and run a business? Making that shift, kind of what were some of the things you started to think about? Yeah, I mean, it happened very, very much the next day. When we got confirmation that two stores were gone, like gone, gone to the ground. You know, the first reaction is, okay, we got to do what we can to support the people that are in Lahaina, but you're correct. We got to run a business still. The great thing about our team is they are family first as well. And I'll never forget this. Uh, one of my directors said, we got to start raising money. We got to, we got to be prepared to support these guys. And we had a t-shirt developed and made the next day. And I was very sensitive about it because do you really want to put that out there after this just happened? We immediately put it online the next day and I'm like, oh, we'll maybe sell two or 300 of these shirts for support. And it was 5,000, these shirts that everyone wanted to support to create the proceeds. We announced where the money was going to go and really to make sure that that was taken care of. That moment brought the company together again, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of, hey, everyone, we're going to go do this. We're also going to make sure we run the day to day so the business is going to survive. And we're going to support both. 